if you haven't got the data, um, you, you're making a decision rather blind. Um, you know, you, you're taking a best guess at what you think's happening in the business without actually being able to to back it up with any any real hard data and look at at trends um, to to back up what what your customers are saying on why whether you want to take the business. So, you know, with without data. The decision is is a, a gut feeling, a best guess um, decision, and you're you, yeah you're, you're effectively blind to what is really going on out there. I was just down in in um, Canterbury, the beginning of the week, um, a site that was really struggling. We, we we went in there, we made some changes, and because we've got this data available. They, they were struggling. The sales team was struggling down at forty percent. Just yesterday, they were at seventy-eight percent. One day, with going in, making some changes, explaining to staff and managers how the changes were going to affect them. It, it, it's huge, you know. And, and and a customer getting answered by somebody that that can answer their questions or the queries, or, or yes, I've got that vehicle in stock. Make that that connection straight away. We've we've seen on on like websites gone from can't get through to the site nobody wants to take me call to fantastic got through first time and um, spoke to such and such service advice they're starting to name people personally on and to get that feedback is 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 amazing you know so yeah it, yes we've had challenges um but it, it's the way you I think it's the way you tackle those challenges and. and and work with the business to understand, make them understand the data and where you're getting that data from, and that's it's trustworthy data. So that, that's the challenges we had initially. took took quite a while to get traction, but don't give up. 